Greetings, Earthlings! Do you wish to command a minion army to deal out massive amounts of damage, value, and overall chaotic anarchy to your foes? Well, look no further because Magnus the Red is probably one of the most unassuming and grueling Izzet commanders to subject your friends to, if you have any left by the end of things. Crisp out of the Warhammer ruin his powers pre-con, this 4-5 demon primarch at the cost of 3 plus a blue and a red has the power to dump out tokens whenever it deals combat damage to a player. But that's not where the real meat of this bad boy lies, it's the fact that all of your instant and sorcery spells cost one less for each creature token you control. Now let's jump into this and come out just how broken this ability is. Now let's head straight out the floodgate and mention that the cost reduction only affects the colorless mana and the cost of spells. So any of your red or blue pips still require a mana source of some kind. But if you dump out a massive token army with cards like Rise from the Tides, Ovika, Enigma Goliath, or my personal favorite, Empty the Warrens, then covering those costs is really moot when you consider playing an X spell like Comet Storm can be an instant kill because even though you only have about 2 or 3 mana open, you may have a field of 30 or so creature tokens who each count for a 1 count in the X cost, so you didn't have to pay anything into said X cost. But why stop there? Run a doubler like Irenicus's Vile Duplication and make a non-legendary copy of Magnus and double up that effect. And when you run creatures like Talran, Young Pyromancer, or Third Path Iconoclast, and the aforementioned Ovika that's dumping out tokens as you play your instant sorcery spells and just stacking up the cost reduction even more. Now I do run commander staples like Force of Will and Mystic Remora, but a card like Access Denied can be reduced to a regular counter spell cost and nets you even more value. Hell, run Archmage Emeritus and storm off with the aforementioned Empty the Warrants to draw so many cards that it would make Josh Lee Kwai blush. Now, kicking back to X spells and really driving home the fact that you can pull off some dirty interactions like Curse of the Swine and Molten Disaster that could just erase boards and weigh things in your favor in a way that no one can recover from. Want to play a nearly free treasure cruise but don't feel like delving? No need when you have 7 tokens on board. Mana pool is running dry for your pips? Not a problem when you have cards like Snap and Frantic Search that can net you mana positive from the cost reductions, and Seething Song is a great card in general but made even better with Magnus. You know, you used to burned up all your spells and you got your graveyard nice and stacked? Run past in flames, play them again and just increase the, the value and the amount of just complete anarchy even more. Now overall I say this deck sits at maybe a 7 or 8. Like, it can fall apart, as most decks can, but the speed at which it can just run away with the game and essentially leaves you playing with yourself until you Jackson Pollock your opponents is just a really disturbing image, but really hilarious and fun to do. I personally played a game a while back where I managed to dump out 40 creature tokens and I just played Earthquake and killed all of us. No one won that game. <laughs> But, as always, a deck list to this would be Link to Moxfield and all that good stuff. Till next time.